Uh, what's one material that we're seeing that you guys think we should, we, maybe there's another strategy for? Uh, one of the thoughts when we were assigned this project was if we could find a new use for one construction waste product and a, and a new reuse, uh, we know shingles are being reused, we know asphalt and uh, concrete, but what else, what's one other material that maybe we're not coming up with a solution for, that maybe there should be one? for drywall, I guess. Well, drywall, I've, drywall's already got an avenue. I mean, it, it's opened up in the past couple of years mm -hmm. of, of where you can take drywall. Uh, we recycle everything that is allowed to be recycled. The only thing I would think that might be an area of improvement is the painted products that are in buildings after 1978. Right. That way we get away from the lead issues, or the, the lead issues, but um, still being able to recycle them, because that's something on our rehabs, everything's painted two or three times. Um, so it goes it's straight to the it goes straight to the waste dumpster. I mean, we can't even do anything with it, and that's even after because by the time we're taking it down, it's been tested and it's lead free, right. but we still can't recycle it. And that's a good point. I have to echo that too. That painted concrete in Illinois has no exit strategy from the it's contaminated, and there's no once it gets in that contaminated box, there's no exit strategy to get it out of that contaminated box. So. There, there's, that's, a, that's an aggregate resource that's going to the landfill. And we see a lot of that getting used as fill and as structural fill for other projects. You go look at it, like, all oh, that's painted. You now have to remove it. So there's another cost to the, the generator, the hauler, and everybody who dumped it there. Because now I've got to go pick up this quarter mile road and take it to the landfill because it's, it's painted concrete. Yeah, painted concrete is when you have stripes down the middle of asphalt or well it is painted. Uh, a painted building okay the you know foundation inside the building the foundation okay. walls right. center block right. painted concrete floors M mastic is a big one mm -hmm. they pull up the tiles it's got the mastic on the tiles but typically when we're doing a rehab the abatement happens before <coughs> we get to the job right so once we get there whatever's left is has been abated and it's been tested and it's been cleared right so there shouldn't be any reason why it can't be recycled waste uh, it just That's the rule is right now it can't be. What yeah. painted, painted material? Painted products. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean it just gets back to to verifying that there's no lead or any other heavy metals in it, right. um, and nobody wants to shoulder the cost to prove that it's a non-issue. But we do on our rehab projects. We our buildings get cleared before we get in and start doing any demo, or the abatement contractor comes in and does the clearance and right. does the abatement, and then that waste goes. Yeah. You know, to 